is cost of capital all about let us discuss in the first topic for this session in this topic we will be saying what is cost of capital and how do you compute it now what is cost of capital return expected by an investor now the cost of debenture was what return expected by debenture holder cost of preference return expected by a preference shareholder cost of equity return expected by equity shareholder cost of retained earnings again return expected by equity shareholder similarly if you see the various methods with and sources which we have done till now were separate for example if i say my company wants to raise 10 million dollars now they are saying that 10 million dollars is a huge amount why not segregate on the various sources seven wants to reduce the risk part they want more returns but less risk so instead of putting all the eggs in one basket we thought why don't we just diversify our risk now instead of putting concentrating on one source why don't we concentrate on different sources some for preference some for debenture some for equity that's what we thought now okay we said okay out of this full money let us raise 20% through debentures let us raise 30% through equity 40% through preference and the remaining money let us use our retained earnings now okay now these people will only give you 20 30% whatever you have targeted at when you give them a minimum return and how do you find that minimum return through cost you found out individual sources cost as such now fine now if i ask you to get this full funds as such full 10 million dollars as such how much return do we need to give in short okay i understand segregation part you are the finance manager you did your own calculation right i just want to know when i get this money 10 million dollars in short how much returns am i expected to pay in at the end so what will you do now will add up individual sources You add the cost of equity, cost of preference, cost of debenture, cost of retained earnings, which you computed separately till now, and club them up. This is what we are going to do under cost of capital. So, what is cost of capital? Is the also called as weighted average cost of capital or composite cost of capital. It is the expected average future cost of funds over the long run. When you how do you find by assigning weights to each of the specific costs? Now, why do we assign specific weights to Cost and how, by how do we assign? It's very important. See, we assign weights is because if I say ten million dollar, twenty percent is preference, thirty percent is equity, twenty percent is debentures, whatever proportion. If I see, so I'm not concentrating on full source. If I say equity shareholders expect a return of sixteen percent, how much they expect a return on sixteen percent? On how much money I'm raising through them, right? So proportion matters a lot. How the proportion of proportion to the firm's total capital structure. Let me make it more easy for you to understand. For example, let me keep very simple. I just require ten thousand dollars. Okay, now ten thousand dollars as thought that as such. Let me raise fifty percent through debentures, fifty percent to equity. Right? I'm not concentrating on one source at all. Fifty percent through debentures, fifty percent to equity. Debenture holders, when I get them fifty percent of the funds, they require return of twelve percent. Equity shareholders require return of six percent. Now, fine, twelve percent and six percent. Raising only fifty percent, fifty percent. I'm only concentrating on two sources over here. Now, if I come and ask you how much total return I need to give to everyone in the market when I want my funds, what will you do? Out of twelve percent, only fifty percent I'm raising. It means twelve percent when I need to give debenture holder. I'm not raising full hundred percent money. I'm only raising fifty percent of funds to them. So, how much is twelve percent divided by? Is a proportion of only fifty percent which I'm raising. How much is six percent proportion of fifty percent which I'm raising? If you add fifty fifty is what hundred percent? Twelve percent six percent is assigned. How much returns I want from each of them? So how will you find the total cost of capital? Twelve percent into fifty percent, six percent into fifty percent. How much you'll get? Six and three. So how much you'll get the final cost of capital? Nine percent. This is how you find weighted average cost of capital. What do you do under weighted average cost of capital? Proportion into specific cost sum it up at the end. Why do we take proportions into account? Is because how we are getting the money changes. For example, if I say I'm raising full hundred million dollars only through equity shares, and these people will expect a return of twenty percent. So what will be your cost of capital? Twenty percent only, right? Because hundred percent is fully raised to cost of equity. Only when we start segregating them, what happens? In short, proportions need to be assigned to them, and when proportions need to be assigned, that's how we find out cost of capital. 
So how do you find overall cost of capital? For example, if I say I'm raising money through all these sources, preference, equity, debentures, retained earnings, okay? You know how to find individual cost as such. Just multiply by the proportion. Proportion of debentures into cost, proportion of preference into cost, proportion of equity into cost, proportion of retained earnings into cost. Sum it up at the end, you get the final cost of capital for your organization and show. Sure. How do you find proportion? Amount for a specific source divided by total amount which you need. That's how you need to find out as a proportion as such. For example, if I say proportion for debenture, out of 10,000, if I need, if I say 5,000 is to be debenture, how much will be the proportion of debenture? 5,000 divided by 10,000 into 100, how much you get? 50%, right? This is how you find a proportion. Amount for an individual source divided by total amount you need in short. Proportion, you can either multiply by 100 and get in percentage if you want, read, leave it as decimal as well. Up to you, make it as easy for yourself. Our final aim is not to find proportion. Our final aim is to find out as the final cost of capital for an organization. How do we work it out? We'll see in the remaining topics when you work out illustrations on them.